This morning, the U.S. seems to be inching closer to military action in Syria. Dan Edwards has been following overnight developments on this story. He joins us now with the latest. Dan? Well, Holly, what sounded like a step toward intervention, President Obama is saying the official U.S. conclusion is that Syria did use chemical weapons on their own people. And today, congressional leaders get a briefing on the evidence that convinced the Obama administration that action is necessary. The comments came as Obama was on PBS last night, and for the first time, he said he's convinced the Assad regime launched chemical weapons attacks that's killed hundreds. Later today, Congress finds out why, as senior White House and intelligence officials will uh, share the evidence that hasn't yet gone public. But 116 lawmakers, Democrats and Republicans, signed a letter pressuring the president to get congressional approval before taking any military action. President Obama insists something should be done, while some military experts think limited strikes may be ineffective. But what's the goal? The White House says Syrian President Bashar al-Assad would not be the target. As critics are asking, then, what's the purpose? And there need to be international consequences. I have not made a decision. This is a symbolic gesture that will not uh, necessarily improve the situation at all. The president <laughs> needs to stick to his word, which is two years ago he said Bashar Assad must go. Well, Great Britain was ready to vote on their end of this measure today, but now they want to wait until the United Nations inspectors finish their report, which could take days, even weeks. Reporting live, Dan Edwards, 2 News Today, working for you.